Hey guys, welcome to a video. Um, we are basically reviewing what I've done for Inktober. Um, sorry, I hope the light isn't screaming in anyone's eyes. Um, it's just the lighting in my room's crap and the days are getting shorter. So I've got a very limited time to work with, but we will survive. So, what I done was I got this sheet from online and I basically printed it off and it's just a basically it's just a prompt sheet um, so it can you can either stick to it or you can just completely disregard it I decided to stick to it and I use I've not got the pens here at the moment they're at my girlfriend's flat but they are um, uni pen um, and I didn't do any sort of pre-layers beforehand, I didn't do any sketch beforehand, I didn't do um, any tracing or whatnot, I just went in straight with pen and whatever came out is what came out. Um, because I'm really bad at pen, so I thought I'm going to use this as a chance to work on it. So let's put that to the side there and let's have a look. So I just got a basic notebook that I could get from any craft store you could get from any craft store I should say and it was just all blank really good paper in it actually um, and I just got a little sticker and put it down to the labourers in October 2016 because I'm going to do this every year and I'm going to keep them and do the progression each year so let's jump into the first one so as you can tell straight away I'm terrible at pens <laughs> and uh, it's um, seconds. I don't know, it's, I, I can't really get that better for you guys. So that's that one. Now this one was trying to close an overstuffed suitcase, so you got the suitcase with all the clothes coming out and whatnot. Even though the guy's big buff and all, he still needs help. The next one was a clumsy jester, build wine all over the king. Done that one. Next one is a caveman. Back. What we'll do for this video only. Ha, 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 ha. So that is a caveman teaching his pet dinosaur how to play fetch. This one is I've just heard the funniest joke. The simple one there. Then it is an old professor chasing his escaped lab rat through the university library. You can see that I've, it's, I've actually drew the line, like a sort of horizon line there. But I don't, um, I don't sort of like lay it out before I do it. So this one is um, asking a loan shark for money. We then have, haven't slept in three days, pretty much the story of my life. Uh, and the next one is to illustrate dignity. Father saying he's proud son returns from a quest of some sort. We then have... A hermit describing how he was abducted by a UFO. I decided to have a bit of fun with this one. Uh, we've done a hermit crab. But he tell he's convinced his friends that, um, that he was abducted. <laughs> then there was the boy who cried wolf, realising this time no one's coming. Another oh, eyes staring at me at the back. The next one is, there there, it'll be alright. 
This is in reference to during one of my streams, my monitor blew up halfway through one of my streams. Um, so I was feeling pretty crap about that. Um, then next one is a coach blowing his top during a halftime locker room speech. So you can see it's still really rough. I'm still really sort of basic with pens. Learning to roller skate. But I thought I got the motion down on, on this one quite okay. We then had a hammy, a hammy, a Hamlet actor fumbles and drops a skull during a performance of Hamlet. I've never seen Hamlet, FYI. The other one is um, an, imaginative, um, an imaginative child playing with a cardboard box. So the old boxes that people, people, kids used to make for the minute a race car. Illustrate Macho. I went with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Because you can't get any more macho than macho man. Um, just spilled a drink on your laptop. I think that would um, convey most people's reaction. A timid person confronting a bully. Now, considering it's November the 8th and that I'm doing this, this is sort of like um, pretty much bang on. But, um, The, the presidential election going on today. But it goes to what I'm going through here in, in Scotland, unfortunately, with the whole Brexit and the, the government down in England just pulling us through the shit. But that's another story. We then have opening a door with your arms full. Now, I don't know if you can spot the unbelievably bad mistake here, apart from the door being completely off the, the line here. But this foot's the wrong way around. Yeah. I think I might have had a few of those beers. A young farm boy tries to get a stubborn goat out of his pen. Thought I'd play around with that one a wee bit. It's a, it's a pen. There's a goat slash dog creature coming out of it. It's called a goat pen. Um, really telling someone off. So it's a kid trying to reach for the candy, and um, his guardian parents telling him no TV for a year if he doesn't. The, the usual threats that you get when you're a child. Um, next one is I may be old, but I could still whip the both of you. So. Old Aid Pensioner flying around with the walking sticks, doing the complete crazy Star Wars pimp. Whatever his name is, that pure crazy guy with the four arms with all the lightsabers. Wrecking people if he needs to. Next one is at home alone watching a scary movie. This actually sort of represents my old house that I used to stay in. The stairs would curve around the corner and there were there were like gaps in between the steps, so you could literally grab someone's foot as they're running up, which happened a lot. Um, there's jokes in my house, and um, it used to scare the living crap out of me when I was younger. So I thought I'd, um, I'd illustrate that a bit. Um, illustrate headache. I went with that one. Oh, with that one. Thought it was okay. We then have someone smashing her thumb with a hammer. The complimentary swear words down at the bottom. Walking into a gust of wind. We got this. I thought this was quite good. Made it more landscapish. More mysterious. We then have. Telling a story to a child. Now, I went with a crazy beefed up kid, as you can tell. And this woman's telling her husband off for telling them action stories before bed. That's why the kid's got weights and 
like a Superman cape and a Dragon Ball Z t-shirt because it's buff. A nervous criminal attempting his first robbery. So he's holding the pearl necklace of the woman. So he's saying, so 10 out of 10 would be robbed again, or nah, sorry, first day on the job. I don't know how a lot of like, jobs go nowadays. Feels like you might as well be robbing someone. Depending on a job. Um, illustrate, oh shucks. So I with this person. Kind of looks like an alien, but. Kind of looks high at the same time. Kind of present, these balloons and whatnot. Bar at the back. Illustrate, out of breath. There's your pair of lungs that are just completely like falcorn in there. Um, just sort of like shady the background a bit. Nothing too fancy. And the last one is Dr. Jekyll transforming into Mr. Hyde. So I sort of went a split 50 50 human transforming into Mr. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll. My bad. Yeah, like half man, half monster. And I had several pages to spare. Just quite good. So, as you can see, some of them aren't that great. Like, I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to illustrating body shapes, getting the proportions right, anatomy right, um, or certainly done with detail. But um, it was really fun doing this, and if if you're someone who's never done it before and you're inquisitive, do it. It actually is quite a bit of fun and it, it does challenge you a bit of discipline doing it every a sketch a day. It does um, force you to be committed to it. Um, but there's a few good ones. I like both of these ones. There's a few really bad ones. I don't like that one at all. Um. Don't like that one. But yeah, I think that's every sort of artist, whether it be a musician or actual creative, when it comes down to like pen, paper, paint, pencils, whatever you use, digital. I think we all hate our art at some point, if not all the time. <laughs> but yeah, that is my Inktober from 2016. So we'll be doing another one next year. So I implore you to come do it with us. Um, doesn't matter which level you start off as, as you can see, I am horrendous. <laughs> um, it's just a bit of practice and a bit of fun. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. You have some more Pokemon videos coming out. Uh, let's hope to, after today, the world doesn't plunge into chaos with um, the US election. But we'll see. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Come check out the stream as well. We'll be streaming in a week's time. Um, taking a sort of break, catching up on some, some portfolio work. And then um, we'll probably be doing, I think we're more likely going to be doing some digital stuff. So come hang out and see what it's all about. Thank you guys for watching. Peace!